Hey guys, for this video, I want to show you this Fossil wristwatch. This is the Nate model, and you can see it's essentially black on black, all stainless steel. And I want to go through everything you need to know about this watch, how it works, what all these dials are, and uh, how to resize it. We'll show you that as well. So you can see we have, well, first right off the top, I'm going to hit this button right on top so we can start seeing some action on that. We have three dials here. And in addition to obviously the main dial, if you look at this one on the right here, it shows time with a 24 hour clock, like military time. So you can see it is just at about one o'clock and the actual time right now is 105. So you can have that there. And then this middle bottom one, this is a chronograph or stopwatch, if you will. So this guy right here is counting the seconds. And that started when I hit this button right up here. Now, if I hit that button again, I am going to stop that. And if we do it one more time, it is running again. This little dial over here is showing you the minutes. And you can see it goes up to 30 minutes, starts and stops there at 30 minutes. So as this guy goes around and counts your 60 seconds, this one will start climbing up as well. And we're going to leave it running for a while, but when you're ready to reset it, you just hit this button down here at the bottom and uh, it'll all go back to zero. Now we also have a date window and obviously we have to be able to set the time. So if you pull this guy, the, what is it called, a crown, I guess? Not a watch aficionado, but I do know how this one fully works. If you pull this out to the first position, you're barely moving it at all. And we give that a spin in the right direction. And you can see I just changed it to 29, 30, 31. And it only goes one direction, so now that I messed with it, I get the luxury of spinning all the way back around, getting to 28. But you can see how it's just barely pulled out at all just barely now once i get back to 28 i'm going to show you setting the time and how far over you have to go for that now we really don't want to pass our date here because otherwise we're doing the whole thing all over again there we go back at 28 now you can see where i'm at for 28 and then you pull it out even further and now we are doing the time so just remember the first step out is your date the second step out is your time now also the collar here rotates only in one direction I don't know specifically what it's for other than you can set your zero mark here at wherever the minute hand is on your watch and then you'll be able to see an elapsed time as it goes around it'll show you 5 10 15 20 and all of that now this is waterproof up to 165 feet and all stainless steel, if I didn't mention that previously. Now you can take the band off to swap it out with other bands. And to do that, you just push this tab in right here that's spring-loaded. There's a pin inside. Don't lose the pin. You pull this down and swing it out. And you can do the same thing on both ends. See that guy right there on this side. And then we have two adjustments as far as sizing. So the first one is these three holes right here it's more of a fine tune adjustment you can see i have the pin in the farthest to the right as you're looking at it slot and this is spring loaded as well you can get a paper clip or a thumbtack like this to press it in another spring loaded piece so don't lose that it's going to has the possibility of kind of shooting out but you can adjust between those three positions now that's a fine tuning solution if you need more then these links are also removable on each side you can see these little holes there if I flip it around to the other side, you can see those little holes there. And I already had to take out three links because I have tiny, dainty wrists. <laughs> so to do that, they do it make specific tools that you can pick up for doing it. But I don't have that, so I used a thumbtack like this. I like this one because it gives you a nice area, less likely to hit your fingers, and a hammer. And you do got to give it a healthy whack. So on your brand new watch, you may want to find someone else to do it for you, but... I was able to do it and you just line this guy up just like so give it a whack until this pops out once you get a little bit you can even get pliers on the back side to pull it out and then you'll remove however many links you need to and then push your pin back in just doing the reverse of the same method it you gotta whack it it's not a little tappy tappy you gotta give it a little something and I would definitely disconnect the main watch portion when you're resizing it also would be good to have 
something to cushion underneath a, a rag or maybe if you have like a silicone tray or something like that just something to keep from scratching this thing also when you're resizing if you're removing more than one link you want to do it evenly so that you end up with the watch all in the same position you don't have it like lopsided one way or the other now with the black on black we don't have any kind of backlight black on gray i guess uh, and also these are not glow at all hands so in the dark you can't see anything you just can't this is a this is a daylight kind of watch so far i really like it i'm getting old and can't see anymore so having a huge uh Face is a bonus to me, even though I think it's supposed to be more of a fashion sense. For me, it's old eyes work well. And, um, yeah, so far so good. I like it, but that's what the dials are, and that's how you resize it. So hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching.